Alright, so recently I picked up a bunch of Christmas decorations. All of these at the front I got a few days ago and I've already opened them. All of these at the back I bought today and I've not opened those ones yet. So let's take a look at these miniature Christmas trees first. I think these look quite nice but for £5 it does seem a bit cheap. Like this wooden base, it just looks like an off cut of wood that you could find in like a wood workshop or something. It's not even varnished so I may varnish this myself and this middle tree is quite wobbly and at the back all these branches are kind of like bent down and stuff so the quality doesn't really kind of seem like it's worth five pounds it seems more like something you would see for like two pound fifty or something but i still think they look quite nice and i think they'll look really nice when i decorate them with my miniature ornaments so that's those ones then we've got these nice old school Let's move this out of the way actually. Old school looking baubles. They look like they could be from the 70s or something. So we've got a red one there. And yeah, whoever kind of put the glue onto these and then the glitter onto the glue, they've not really done an amazing job. It kind of looks a bit messy. Same with the other ones as well. But overall I still think these look really nice. Then we've got this uh, this like amber one or orange or yellow. It's kind of like a kind of like a dingy yellow colour. And then we've got a a clear one there. Next up are these really nice looking glittery snowflakes. These were pretty cheap. It was like it was like hanging there in Tesco and it said uh, 50p on it and I thought well that's not too bad for 50p looks really nice and then I discovered that there was actually two that you actually get two for 50p so that's like 25p each I think they're actually made out of cardboard so it seems like they could like bend really easily and then we've got this as well I think that looks really nice it's made out of wood and then on the other side all of it's white And we've got these uh, these Disney baubles. I'm not really into Disney, but I do like the look of these baubles. I like the fact that you've got the, all these like little gold things inside which can move about. So on the side you've got gift tags that you can cut out. So you've got Merry Christmas there, Minnie Mouse, Happy Christmas, Mickey Mouse, and then you've got two more on this side. Duck the halls and have a sweet time. So let's open this. Where do I open it? They had uh, Marvel ones as well, I think. Superman was on one of the baubles, and I can't remember what other characters were on the other baubles. And the things inside were red, like a chrome, little chrome red things instead of gold things. So the quality of these isn't that great either, and you'll see why in a minute. So there's a, I think that's Pluto there. And you can see all these little gold things inside that move about. And yeah, this is what I mean about the quality. You've kind of got like bits of the paint missing there. And it's like brand new. This is how it was when I took it out of the box. Mickey Mouse there. Sorry about the light glaring right in the middle of the uh, the bubble. And there's uh, I can't remember her name now. I just said it before, but I've forgotten already. And this is the last one. It's quite strange because Donald Duck here is kind of. It's kind of squished this way and kind of stretched that way. It's like kind of narrow, but then on the back, it's like it's normal. There's a nice close up of those little gold things inside. All right, so that is everything that I got 
a few days ago. Let's take a look at the things that I bought today, which I've not opened yet. So I bought a lot of miniature decorations for this miniature tree and these miniature trees. And I've got another miniature tree which my mum bought probably over 25 years ago. It's pretty old. So let's see, what, we'll, what should we take a look at first? Let's take a look at this really nice kind of vintage looking giant bauble. I just think that looks really, really nice. And I was surprised as well to discover that it's actually glass. In the old days, pretty much all baubles were made out of glass. I remember them when I was a kid, uh, like at Christmas time, like in the 80s and the late 70s. Most of our, well, pretty much all of our baubles do a glass. And I can understand why you don't get glass baubles now and you get plastic ones instead because like kids could knock the baubles off the tree and they might stand on them by accident and then get bits of broken glass in the feet and, and stuff. So it's quite surprising that this one is made out of glass but yeah, really, really nice. And the bit that you hang it by it's like some old rope there. So I really, really like this one. So pretty much everything else is like kind of miniature decorations for miniature trees. So I've got all these kind of like diamonds on a chain there. I've got silver ones and clear ones there. Two meters. Then we've got these 25 silver bead one light, one white wire lights there. So let's open this. Quite long. So there it is up close and there's the lights, those little LED lights there. And then you get this this box that you put your batteries in there. On off switch there. Let's actually put some batteries into this. Let's turn it on. There it is lit up. Looks really nice. Could put them, maybe put them around these trees. Might look quite nice around these trees, maybe. Or oh, the, oh, the, uh, the bigger miniature tree that my mum bought many years ago. Here we have some, uh, some baubles, I think for like a regular sized Christmas tree. So let's open this up. I think these look really nice. So I think they're meant to be icicles. Let's see how many we get. Oh, we get eight of them. Not really much point in me bringing them all out of the box because they all look the same. And we've got these uh, five meter bead chains. We've got gold and red. Not much point in me taking them out of the boxes because they're not really gonna. You can already see them in the boxes, so. And then we've got these mini baubles, 60 all together, 20 in each in each box. It's got these ones, these silver ones, uh, red ones. Gold, red and silver. For some reason they didn't do any packs where it's just all kind of like gold ones. So lastly we have this 60 centimetre pre-lit twig tree. So does pre-lit mean it's already got batteries for it and it will light up straight away? Not really sure. Yeah I think it's, I think this is meant to be like a birch tree. But yeah it looks really nice the tree. Costs about six pounds which I think is a a decent price for this because it looks really good. I've not seen it out of the box yet though. Alright, well let's take it out of the box. 
open it from this end because this is where the base will be. But better for taking it out of the box. There's the pamphlet there. Oh wow, wasn't expecting it to look like that. See on the box it looks really nice, but when you actually see the thing itself it doesn't look as good. It's like it's just kind of like plastic wrap that's wrapped around it and it's all folded up. But from a distance it might look alright. That's the base there. Let's, uh, let's get this tree looking how it should be. Alright, so I folded out the branches. Let's put the batteries in there. It's a bit hard to do this on camera. Let's see. Let's move those out of the way. Would be better if I did this off camera, I suppose, but I want to do it on camera for whatever reason, so you can see it. Inside there, got wires and stuff. Something in there. And it's quite weird the arrangement of like how the batteries sit in the base. I've never seen anything like this before. Usually, in pretty much anything else that I've seen that you put batteries into, the batteries that just kind of line up in a row. So that's kind of odd. But let's, uh, let's put this back on. So yeah, I tried to get this looking as natural as possible because you can kind of like bend the, the twigs in different directions and stuff. I, tr I just tried to copy how it looks on the box because I think it looks really nice on the box. Right, so I've finished decorating these miniature trees. I thought I'd decorate them just to see, you know, how they'll look and to just give you an example of what you can do with like miniature trees and miniature decorations. Normally I'd spend more time on this to get it looking a lot better, but I'll just kind of quickly put it together for the video and um, yeah I think they, they look really nice so you've got your, your bigger miniature tree here with the barbels you've got some of these like it's like string of diamonds dangling around the tree and then you've got the and you've got the gold beads and the little LED lights and silver beads around these miniature trees let's see how they look with the light off so yeah I'll give you a closer look at them Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.